Hello Virgos, this is your pick a deck for the 26th through February 1st. This to see how your person is feeling about you, okay? So we have one, two, and three. You guys pick one, pick two, pick three if you like. Um, as long as you guys can, you know, pull a message out of it that resonates with you, it's quite all right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move deck three and two out of the way. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, okay? Let's see what's going on for my Virgos. And immediately, the Hermit flips out, okay? A lot of you are just kind of thinking about your future, I feel. Um, where you go from here. I also feel like the person that you are thinking about has you on their mind while they're going forward they're trying to figure some things out here i think you know the hermit for me usually looks for the love of their life i think they have you like you know whatever has happened between you guys is still there it's still present okay i think they're looking for solutions um I feel like they're still kind of carrying a lot of baggage. They're thinking about, you know, everything that has happened before. They, it's like they go back and forth, like they want to move forward, but they're trying to figure out like everything that went wrong before. Okay. Sagittarius energy here. They want to figure out what went wrong before. So there is not a repeat. Okay. For some reason, the chariot came up in reverse, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I feel like I feel like there's definitely success in the making for this person. Um, I think they're not looking forward to moving forward with you. I think they feel like it's, it wasn't a success before, and I think that's what they're trying to figure out. But, you know, either way, this card, this is them moving forward successfully, I think what's holding them back right now is um, them trying to really figure out, like, you know, what happened, what went wrong before, what did they do, what did they contribute, you know, to the downfall of the relationship, what did you do, you know, that sort of thing here. Okay, so they're, they're kind of stuck right now because they are in hermit mode trying to figure out some things, okay? Oh, okay. Not doing that. A lot of cards jumped out here. But I tell you what, and something flipped over in the deck. A lot going on here. So I'm just going to like lay these cards out because it was a lot of them, guys. Let's just see. I'm going to put them back in the deck though, okay? Um, they have a lot of good cards here. There's a lot of good cards here. We have the Queen of Cups here. We have the Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. Um, we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Sun, the Seven of Cups. This is confusion. We see that they are trying to figure some things out here. Um, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Cups here, this person I feel is a very loving person. Probably um, Cancer energy. But they're trying to figure out how to not lose themselves. How, how they normally behave. You know, sometimes when people have been hurt, they change up things a lot. You know, they, they try to keep themselves from making the same mistake by changing up who they, you know, innately are inside, okay? But I feel like they're healing. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of things that they're realizing. There's still some things that confuse them here with the Seven of Cups. But, you know, they're trying to figure out, you know, what do they do from here? Where do they go from here? Okay? And they're really studying it and making moves towards choosing, you know, a path for them, I feel here. Um, very good cars, very, you know, forward moving. I think there's just still some things that they have to kind of work out and figure out. And I think this is more about, you know, themselves and how they can find success and be enlightened here. Because the sun is all about self, happiness, awareness. Ace of Cups is loving yourself, you know, receiving the love from God, accepting that, accepting yourself, okay? 
So I think they're just trying to figure out like where they go from here. So now I'm getting ready to pull this card. I don't know what it is that flipped over in the deck. Let's see, you guys. A couple of cards flipped over here in the deck. All right. So we have looks like the ace of the eight of wands and the four of pentacles. Um, they feel like. They feel like you guys are holding back from communication. Like, um, maybe you guys, you know, that you don't want to communicate with them. That um, maybe you don't have anything nice to say to them, even here. They also feel like, you know, there are things that they want to get off of their chest. Um, they want you to open up. They want you to tell them, you know, you know, what was wrong, what happened here. Because I think that's what's kind of holding them back too from going forward, from moving on, is the fact that you guys are not communicating, I feel. You haven't communicated about like what really happened here. Okay. I also feel like maybe some of you guys are holding on to this relationship as well but you know feeling a little closed off yourself um not really wanting to open up not really wanting i'm not gonna say not wanting but not open to communication at this point like right now i think you guys are having a hard time moving forward too then we have the page of pentacles hmm I think, you know, I think what, what they really want to convey to you, and this is a message for my Virgos, is that they loved you. They probably still do love you, is what I'm getting here. Because these are loving messages, um, I feel. But they feel like, you know, you rejected them. You hurt them. You left them. For some of you okay so that's what I'm getting here I think they would like to hear an explanation okay so we have Sagittarius energy cancer um, Taurus energy here all right guys so that is deck one moving on to deck two for my Virgos let's see how does Virgos person feel about them how does Virgo's person feel about them? Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Virgo. All right, guys. Oh, okay. Virgo. They're unsure. Um, I think this person's got a lot going on right now. I think they're just really trying to um, maybe gain some balance with their emotions, figure out, you know, where they're going from here and how to get there. I think this has more to do with finances at this point. Yeah, um, I think they're working really hard. Capricorn energy here. I think this person's focused on work. And they're putting in a lot of um, long hours with whatever they are doing here. Okay. Hmm. Somebody wants to communicate here. And I feel like... Aquarius energy... Somebody's a little um, not intimidated. They're unsure. And I feel like this person usually is very upfront and forward with whatever they have to say. But I feel like there's something that they really want to say. I don't think they know how to say it, though. Um, Yeah, they, they're struggling with that. They're struggling with, you know, how to say it, how to come forward. Should they come forward? I, I feel like this person is a little off 
kilter too um, off balance uh, maybe their finances are in an upheaval since you guys separated but they feel like very attached to you very attached to you uh, yeah this person's working very hard I feel like their finances are what they are really so very focused on right now but I'm getting my Virgos that you guys are probably the ones that are really want to communicate with someone I feel like this person um, made you happy for the most part of course you know you guys are probably not together for a lot of you um, but there's something that happened here um, maybe some codependency but yeah somebody somebody is struggling here um, wanting to say want to speak on how attracted they are to you how much they want you how much they're sure about you this could go vice versa too because um, this could be you guys doing this or feeling this way okay but um, somebody's struggling here because they feel very attached they feel very attracted um, they weren't sure before about being with you or you being with them but now I feel like they are sure they want to they don't know how to come forward with it though they don't want to be without you for whoever this is if this is you Virgos you don't want to be without them hmm two of wands somebody's seeking the other one has moved on and I feel like, honestly, honestly, you guys, you both are at a crossroads right now, okay? Both of you are at a crossroads, I feel. One of you is wanting to really communicate that um, you're sure about this connection now. Like, you, you want to be together. And the other one is really focused on their money, um, trying to build up their finances um, because something something happened. Something happened when you guys separated, where you know they felt very depleted, um, that their their money was low, um, and it may have been you know while you guys were together as well but when you separated it really just kind of went haywire and I feel like they're struggling here to try to to you know get stable get their surroundings stable and be happy here but I feel like the attachment that you guys share here this devil energy where you are so attached to each other um, it's putting both of you in this situation where you know you want to be happy but I feel like both of you kind of feel like you know at the end of the day being with the other person is really is what would make you happy and fulfilled here so both of you have this choice to make I don't know who left but I'm getting the person that left the Knight of Swords. I'm getting that that this is a person that probably needs to make the first move. I don't, but I feel like this other person will meet the other one halfway. But whoever left initially, I feel, whoever was aggressive in their tone, whoever said, you know, maybe that oh I don't love you anymore or you know no I'm not coming back or whatever whatever the situation is for you guys whoever made that decision not to reunite or not to get back together I feel like they're the ones that really has 
the decision to make as far as a connection is concerned here, okay? So we have Aries here, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn energy, okay, guys? Hmm, you guys are in a pickle. Deck two. Because I feel like there, there's there's a lot of love there. Even though I didn't see any cups, I just I just felt that energy where you both are on the same page here. Okay. So let's see what's going on with deck three. How do they feel about my Virgos? How do they feel? Three of Swords, they're getting over the hurt, the pain. Um, they're coming from behind the shadows, and I think they're ready to um, communicate here. Yeah, they're ready to communicate. Three of Swords in reverse. Let's see. Then we have the King of Wands here. Somebody standing in their power, um, feeling confident, feeling good. I think, you know, they, they probably were not really in hiding, but they probably were um, in hermit mode for a while, kind of thinking and reflecting. And, and now it's like, you know, they're coming back into their element, I feel. Feeling good about themselves again. Going out, being social. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Mm, I feel like it's a show. I feel like this is more of um, a false confidence here. This person is really not ready to um, to offer anything. They're not ready to receive anything. They want to, but I feel like you know they're they're really trying to show to the world that they are feeling and doing better here. But I think it's it's a show. Okay, Four of Cups, yeah. Just not accepting anything. Um, hmm. But what I'm getting is I feel this person is, is regretful. Regretful about a lot of things that happened. Things that they did to you, things you did to them. Um, they're trying to get over it, but they feel like, you know, there's no more love between the two of you. That you guys um, are not willing to offer your love, they're not willing to offer theirs. It's just, just how it's going right now. Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody's feeling very regretful. Um, I think they really want to start over. They really want to make some moves here, um, but there's still there's still some um, some hurt here. They're getting over it, but they're not quite there. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Wands. No communication. No communication whatsoever. No loving messages. Yeah, I feel like this person probably has blocked you. Um, they have no intentions of communicating, and they don't feel like you will either. Mm -mm, they don't. So we have Sagittarius energy here. We have Cancer, um, Aquarius, any fire sign energy here. Um, Aries, Leo. Okay, as well. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But um, they don't feel like you're offering anything. They're not offering anything. Um, and that they don't feel like you guys will communicate. I'm getting they don't feel like you guys will communicate again. Which is, which is kind of, you know, definite. Um, but, yeah. So that's what I'm getting, guys. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.